Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, I, I'm finally back and in this video, I wanted to touch base with you guys to say hi um, and basically tell you what's happened in the past few weeks. Do like a little what's in my bag um, update wear and tear slash review on two bags that I've been using lately. So it is a bit of a mishmash of things, but I won't ramble on too much about, you know, me. Um, but I just did want to update a few of you guys who have, you know, been following me on my Instagram and um, keeping up with what I've been getting up to. So if you guys didn't know I am a um, GP registrar. So I am a fully qualified doctor, but I am in a training program to specialize in general practice. And I think most people know what a general practitioner is. It's like the community doctors that you see first and then they sort out, you know, most of your medical issues and follow you up. And then if there's anything that needs spe other specialist input, they will refer you to that doctor. So I don't work in the hospital anymore. I haven't for two years now. This is my second year. And I am glad to be done with that. I um, uh, I don't, I do miss like the hospital life, but I hate the shift work and just the bureaucracy and all that rubbish that comes along with it. So um, yeah. Anyways, I'm in a specialty training program, which means to become a specialist, I have to pass the program. And I've just sat my exit exams, and it was so hard. <laughs> It, I've basically been studying with my best friend for who's also doing the same thing for seven months and I'm talking like seven months of intense study like every day um, and in the past four weeks we've been doing like you know basically 12 hour days where we're just like studying 8 to 8 p.m. most of the time with like very minimal breaks so it's been an intense few weeks and it's not been fun and I've just sat my exams and <laughs> I just don't think like I just don't think any amount of study would have prepared you for that just because it was just so left field um all the bread and butter stuff that we sort of knew really well just wasn't even on there so it was I think it was a poor reflection of what you really need to know. Um, I, I think that they didn't really test you on the things that would make you a good GP, but you know, it's <sighs> whatever. I don't, I've tried, I sat it, I did my best and now I have to wait two months for the result. And um, for a lot of people asking if I have a plan B or what happens if I fail, basically you just sit it again. It's not the end of the world. It just really sucks because then you have to pay again to do it and you get like, you get um, maximum of three, three tries I think, but it would be nice to pass it first go. Um, but yeah, you know, what? that's the worst that can happen. I am religious, so I'm just going to live it up to God and let him take care of the rest and just know that there is a plan for me, whether it's passing this exam or not. I just have to trust that he knows what he's doing and just, yeah, leave it there. So that is what's happened. Just if anyone's curious, once you pass these exams, you do sit another exam. So either way, I have to sit an exam whether I fail or I pass. This other exam, it's an OSCE. So it's it's basically where you, um, you see patients and you um, have a group of doctors that observe you and they ask questions. It's more of like a verbal exam rather than a written. Um, and then once you pass that, you're a fully fledged fellow, which is like a consultant in that specialty, which means that you can basically do whatever you want. Um, and yeah, work wherever you want. That is, that is the goal. <laughs> Um, and so anyways, uh, in the past few weeks, obviously I've been really, really intense with studying and, um, studying involves a laptop, textbooks and notebooks. And so we've been going to the library just because it's the, it's, you know, quiet, you know, you're surrounded by like-minded people, you get into the groove of things. So that's where we've been going. And obviously I've needed to carry a bag with me to carry everything that I need to bring. And it is a lot of stuff. So I have been using two bags in particular, um, so they're not the work bags because work ba I just wanted a break from my Neverfull, which I mainly use for work. Um, the two bags I've been reaching for is actually one, this is my Louis Vuitton um, Monster B GM, and this one's actually 
packed at the moment and full of stuff. Everything that I was carrying before, I've popped it back in here so you guys have an idea of the stuff that I would carry. And then I've also been using my Chanel um, Deville, um, which I revealed in like a collection video. I didn't do a full unboxing or like a dedicated reveal video on this one. Um, so I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update and sort of my thoughts and first impressions on it. Um, and yeah, show you guys what I carry and what fits in each bag. So let me first go on to this bag. So this is the Neverfull what? No, this is the Monthly GM. I do have the MM version. This one is the largest one with the web strap. This bag, you guys, is a absolute workhorse. This was my favorite to carry, especially when I was bringing around my textbook because you could wear it on your back and it didn't feel so bad. And it, I just feel this is like the sturdiest, one of the sturdiest bags I own, um, like one of the bags that I I'm happy to stuff and not feel too nervous about the bag falling apart. So I actually have so much in here. I have a textbook in here, you guys will go inside. So it is a backpack. Um, it's got one pocket at the front and then it has like a double closure. Clay, you open it up just like this. And then there is a drawstring here, which I basically have just tied um, like locked in that way so that I can just open and close it. But the double opening hasn't actually bothered me too much. Um, and for those wondering, I did purchase this secondhand. I got it for a really, really good price of, I think, what is it? 500, 600 Australian dollars. Um, and the reason I got it for a really good price was it did have a lot of dirt and I just cleaned it up. So the bottom had a lot of stains and I basically cleaned it. And um, so the bottom is quite worn and you can feel like the vachetta is a little bit, you know, thinned out, but I'm not too worried about it. And I just figured once it starts to wear away to the point where you can see holes in the vachetta, I will replace this. And I am firmly sold to the idea that if this was ever to leave my collection, I would 110% repurchase this bag because I do really love it. And it is one of those bags that if you just need to carry shit, you just want a functional bag that carries a lot of stuff. This is it. So this is perfect for like students, by the way. So first thing that you can see is this giant white thing. This giant white thing is actually my really festy laptop case. Um, I do want a nicer one, but I don't really care. It's just to carry my laptop. So, you know, whatever. Um, it just opens up and inside is my MacBook Pro. So I've just got like, yeah, MacBook Pro as my laptop. That's the first one, and that weighs about one and a half kilos, approximately. Opening it up some more. One of the other things that you can see in there, hope you can, is this massive, massive textbook. <laughs> Guys, this was the Bible. This is the GP Bible, and this is Murtar's general practice. He is like a super famous GP. Um, this weighs a ton. It is so, so heavy. It's not my favorite book. I actually hate this book. I think it's just absolute rubbish. But um, anyways, apparently we needed to read this cover to cover. No, that's absolutely, that's BS. None of the stuff that's in here was even on the exam. It's freaking lies, I tell you. Anyways, that is Murtar. This is like the Bible and yeah, so basically highlighted it. Did not read it cover to cover. No. No. That is the heaviest thing in my bag and that weighs so, so much. Maybe like two, three kilos. And when I'm bringing that, the only bag that I'm happy to carry it in is basically this. Otherwise, I'm bringing like a fabric tote or, you know, a carry bag to bring or, or you know, just hold it in my arm because Every other bag I just feel like would fall apart if I put that in and I would be way, way, way too nervous to do that. And it's just, it's very heavy if you're carrying it on the shoulder as well. Um, so it has to be worn in a backpack. And this bag sort of held that textbook like without a problem. And I'm just so, so impressed by the quality and just the durability of this bag. I just, um, I'm over the moon about it. And then I've got a text, uh, and I've, I've got a notebook here with all my all my notes that is just in a week this is a new one 
and one week's worth of notes is basically like three quarters of this book so you can imagine um, and then I've got another notepad just another scrap piece of paper that we would write in and review and then I've also got an iPad so an iPad weighs about what one kilo or 750 grams but with a case definitely you know a good one kilo for sure the book would probably weigh three kilos the laptop another um, 1.5 so already we are at four 5.5 kilos and then I've got my headphones and then inside I've got my laptop charger and I've got like these sachets. It's um, Old Town Coffee three in one. Basically, I found this in Coles, and it kind of reminds me of like the Filipino like three in one coffees. And it's like just really strong and sweet. And basically, what I drank every day. And um, I would just bring it with like I'd bring a sachet with me in my bag so I can mix it up when I'm in the library because I'm too cheap to pay for coffee. Yeah, you know, when you're on annual leave pay, basically minimum wage, you have no money to spend on coffee. Love them and um, yeah, I smashed through this. My friend loved it too. And then um, I've got a my phone in there and um, my headphone like auxiliary cord. And then just at the very back, I've got my pencil case, which has my highlighters, pens, um, clear wipe glasses cleaner. Um, but yeah, that's mainly it, nothing too exciting there. And that is it for the inside. And then it's got one front pocket, which is really, really handy because this is actually where I put like my wallet and it's got my bus pass and credit card and everything like that. And then, just a lot of rubbish from all the snacks that I've eaten. So I've got some Nurofen, which is just ibuprofen. Um, I've got some receipts, more pens. I've got a used sachet that I was talking about. And that just all goes up the front there. I usually put my phone up the front as well because it's just easier to get access to, which is really useful. Um, so yeah, that is mainly it. Um, it's a really simple bag. There's not a lot of bells and whistles. There's not a lot of pockets like the Boss 4 backpack. Um, and it, it does actually have a um, a deer ring here. I love, love, love this bag. I've I've gotten more use out of this bag than the MM, believe it or not. So um, honestly, if I was to repurchase one over the other, I would definitely repurchase the GM. It's just so functional and I just love the fact that I got it for such a good deal because it meant that I wasn't too afraid to wear it. If I pay like maybe $2,000 for it, um, then I would probably be a bit he more hesitant in packing it to the brim the way that I do. But it's such a functional bag. I love this bag. And um, I do really like the Boss 4 backpack too for the fact that it's got so many pockets. Um, but to me, this just looks so much prettier. Like it's just so freaking cute. And um, yeah, I, I wouldn't trade this bag for anything, honestly. I love it. I'm always going to have this bag in my collection for sure. It's just such a classic. And hello, Louis Vuitton backpack. Can you get any better than this? So love it, love it, love it. So that is the first bag that I wanted to share. I also posted on my um, Instagram that I have been getting a lot of use out of my Duville. Um, I have... You know, the past few weeks I've been using this quite a lot in terms of what I can pack in there. Although this looks like it's, you know, pretty much, although this looks actually much bigger than this, at least in real life to me, um, I find that this gets far, far heavier very quickly compared to the backpack, mainly because of, I guess, the straps aren't as comfortable as the web straps on the um the Louis Vuitton backpack, but I do really, really love the top handle details on this bag. Um, and that is why I've been reaching for this one more than my Neverfull, just because it's so convenient to be able to carry it like this versus always having to carry it on your shoulder like this. So, and it's just such a cool little bag and I love how distressed it looks. 
Personally, I feel like that adds to the overall look of the bag. I really like how, you know, the fabric looks a bit faded. It looks a bit more grungy. And um, this one does have a bit of staining on the back. And that's why I got it for such a good deal. If you haven't seen my reveal video on this one, I'll put it in the info bar. Um, but yeah, overall, the wear and tear hasn't been too bad. Um, if you look at the bottom, there is slightly some fraying there, which... I'm pretty sure that I did that because I don't think it was there when I bought it. Just there. The other side is okay. I do put this on the on the ground. I don't fuss about with this bag too much. But if you guys remember, this was the main issue why I got this bag for such a good deal and you know all the other the glazing issues. But nothing has gotten worse. I do worry about the handles sometimes I feel like you know when you put really really heavy things in here you just get worried about you know whether the grommets are strong enough to maintain the integrity of the bag um, but I haven't had any major issues using it so far so um, you know so far so good but in terms of using this bag I do really really like like the top handle and just the overall look and like just the relax vibes a relaxed feel of it and it's just a great great like overnighter bag or just dump bag it's a really really good one i think though brand new it is really really overpriced but i know you can find some for you know a decent enough price on ebay and also like some consignment sellers on instagram but just make sure that they are trustworthy i certainly wouldn't be paying more than like two thousand dollars for this um, but for the size of the bag it's not a bad price but yeah nothing too much more than that so yeah that is the bag that is my chanel deville i'll just show you how you know it can fit all the stuff so i've got my notebook in here so there is so much space to fit like giant items in here so i put my laptop ipad so that my ipad has the ipad pen really really useful for note taking um or just writing summaries my pencil case my laptop charger my headphones uh, sunglasses my wallet and then this is what the bag feels like So as you can see, it already looks so bulky and this doesn't even have my Murtaz, um, you know, textbook in here. I would not, absolutely not be putting this into this bag, especially considering the only thing holding it together or attaching the straps to the bag are these grommets. So I actually would not be, you know, doing that. But this is how it looks, you know, strained a little bit. Um, but I really like, you know, wearing it. I think it's really cool. So this is what it looks like when worn. Um, yeah, it's just very, like, relaxed and casual. And so I, I like how it looks as well. But I definitely don't think it is as sturdy as this backpack here. So if you could only afford one, I'd probably go with this. Obviously, this is a lot more versatile um, in terms of when you can wear it. So unless you are a real backpack person, this is mainly reserved for, you know, functional purposes for me. So like when I, I'm studying, when I need to carry books, this is what I bring. If I want something that looks cool, photographs well, um, but, you know, a bigger bag that can fit a lot, this is probably one that I would pick. But I must admit... I don't feel comfortable bringing this to work because I just feel like the distressed look of it makes it a little bit um, casual and I just don't think it's work appropriate. There are other versions where like the canvas is like tweezed so it looks really nice and looks like something you could wear for work but personally for me this style, this sort of washed appearance of this, um, it doesn't sort of, I don't think it looks good with work clothes so I don't bring this one to work so yes that is it you guys that is my two bags I like made this coffee a while ago and I just forgot about it now <sighs> I'm becoming sure of breath <sighs> I actually have to go to work in like an hour so I have to get ready but um I just wanted to film this video for you guys because 
you guys have been asking me when are you going to make a new video so here I am um, do like send your requests in on what you guys want to see um, from me any particular like videos styling videos beauty videos just let me know um, and I, I really want to do a Q&A so if you have any questions for me as well you might as well put it down here but I will probably do a dedicated post on Instagram as well um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for tuning back in with me. And just double check that you are still subscribed because I know YouTube has been unsubscribing people because I've noticed that the people I've followed and I've actually watched their videos, like I was randomly unsubscribed to. So yes, do make sure you're still subscribed. Um, and as always, um, hope you're having a wonderful week or weekend and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.